The holidays are definitely fun, but they can also be stressful when you're trying to finance them. Well, no fear. Our resident wealth strategist and tax attorney Rebecca Walser is here to help us holiday budget with our kids. Yes, and this is for everybody, Nally, not just your parents, because, you know, maybe grandparents want to take the grandchildren mm -hmm. to buy, the, you know, their mom or dad something. So it's important that you sort of set boundaries with the kids and use this. I think it's a great time to leverage learning about finances, learning about the value of money um, when you're doing this. I will say this is such a great idea to, to think about using this time because it's Absolutely. like usually you pick out the toy catalog. Oh, I want this. I want this. Or I, you know, I hope Santa brings me this. Yeah. But you're taking it a step further. So where do we begin? Yeah. Because you do have the balance of mom and dad's gifts versus Santa's gifts. Exactly. How right. do we break this down? So really, I think it's a, we're flipping it a little bit and we're taking the kids. The first thing that I think is a wonderful lesson is, yes, it's about you kids, <laughs> but it's not all about you. So let maybe mom is taking the kids to shop something for dad and okay. the kids are buying something for dad, you know, or maybe the grandparents are taking the kids to buy something for mom or for dad. So it's, or maybe even you're taking one child to buy a gift for another child. And this is a great time to use this holiday season as money, learning about money. So I have a great example. I took my son, you know, he had earned a certain amount of money, $10. And I was explaining to him that when we go into the store, you really can only buy something that's about, you know, $8 or $8.50 because by the time they add the tax, oh, yeah. you're not going to have enough. And so he had the $10. And of course, I was there with him. And he found a toy that he really wanted. It was $9.99. I think we've talked about this before, Natalie. And he was like, well, I want this is what I want. And it's $10. And I, and, you know, it's right under $10. And I'm like, but it's not right under $10. We have to talk about the tax. You know, that's what mommy does for a living, yes. right? <laughs> yes. And so, you know, I think that he sort of thought, well, mommy, you have it. You can just cover the difference. And I was like, no, this is all on he you. Didn't get it, did You're he? on your own. You know, you, this is life. This is reality. And so, especially children that are, are have a privileged upbringing, which, you know, a lot of people have these days this is an important time to say it's not about what I have here's what you have and what can you do with it because then they can really start to understand not only the value of a dollar and if they can't afford something we start to teach them about saving and delaying gratification until we reach a goal so what do you suggest in the holiday gift giving world do you suggest that there is a, a budget put on it do I you do. suggest that, that they Absolutely. start saving for the holidays what do we, what do we think well obviously we started in January and we could have saved up a piggy bank specifically like for a holiday fund that would be a great January New Year financial oh, yeah. plan type yeah. of lesson. But if we haven't done that and we're just at the end of the holiday, you know, beginning of the holiday season, I would just literally set a budget and say, this is how much you have, and you're going to have to take, for, you know, account for finding the gift and take account for taxes and, and no one's going to come and bail you out if you need just a teeny bit more, you know. And it's interesting, you'll see children actually bargain between each other. Look, you're a little short. Uh, you know, if you do this for me, I'll maybe give you a little bit of my money so you can cover the tax. So you'll see kids work things out on their own, which is exactly what we're trying to help them do when they really are given that budget and they can go in. If you've never given your child a budget, you're really doing them a disservice because they need to figure out, okay, I have this much to spend and I have all these choices but I have to narrow them to what's within my means. Okay so keeping that budget in mind when it comes to holiday gift giving. Yeah. Is that something that uh, mom and dad and adults maybe need to remember to I'm, for the holidays? I'm glad you said that because my thing, I mean, you, obviously you can always get me a great present, honey, but my thing is every year we go somewhere and I always get a Christmas ornament. Aww. So this year we went to Grenada and there's my little Christmas ornament from Grenada. So what That's does cool. this cost? Like, you know, $10, but my tree is full of all of our experiences all over the world. Aww. And you can do something like this for each other for $10 and it makes me so happy. And I will, every year I put new ornaments on from where we've been and I'll never forget those places. And it's like a, an annual memory of our life together. So you can do simple things like this. I collect ornaments from everywhere place in the world. Also, every year I get the 2017 or the 2016, mm -hmm. just get the ornament that says the year. You'll remember that. This is really cheap. I think this is like $10 or less, you know, at Target. So um, there's cheap things out there that are really sentimental. So she's not just giving financial advice this holiday season. Rebecca is also giving gift ideas. I know, I love right? It. Well, I just, this is my idea, just what I, I love to do. <laughs> well, again, great ideas, great ways to teach the kids. Thank yeah. you for that. Thanks, and if Natalie. people want to get a hold of you, of course, WalserWealth.com. She can answer your specific questions and help for you plan in the future. Rebecca, happy holidays. Happy holidays, Natalie. Thank you, thank you.